OTF TV, we definitely in the building. Shout out to the gang, 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 and all my subscribers. Um, so make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, also hit that bell icon. Hit the bell icon so you can know when your boy uploads some new content. You gotta be first. Now, I wanna speak on Floyd Mayweather, cause he's definitely taking this MMA thing seriously. And hopefully we'll see him making his MMA debut, hopefully within the next year or two. Now, here's my thing. Um, I wanna say first of all, Mayweather is a genius at marketing. He's definitely a genius. Can you imagine the amount of people that are paying to see Floyd Mayweather get his ass whipped in an MMA match? Um, this fight will be bigger than any boxing event ever if Floyd Mayweather is to get inside of an MMA ring and compete against anybody, especially someone the likes of Conor McGregor in the possible MMA rematch. I want to say first off, um, I don't give a fuck how much training Floyd does um, a year, two, it's, it's not enough time for him to get in the MMA uh, uh, ring and beat anybody. I don't give a fuck how great he is at boxing. To learn submissions, to, to learn how to get out of submissions, and, and I mean, everything goes, all the technical aspects it takes to be a great MMA fighter. I don't think Floyd has the proper time to, uh, to learn these attributes and get in the MMA and compete against anybody, even the guy that you might consider to be a bum. And um, I want to say if Floyd does go into the MMA and, and, and he debuts, this would be the biggest scam ever. This fight would generate billions of dollars. Um, so many people will, I mean, he could do this fight anywhere. He could do this fight in a stadium somewhere, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. He could do it at the Barclays. He could do it at the MGM Grand, of course, but that's his home. And the line would be around the corner. People will be tailgating like it's a football game, barbecuing. I mean, just doing whatever to see this guy lose. They can charge $100 just for parking. And people will be, you know, they'll have that stadium surrounded to watch this guy lose. Um, I think um, as far as boxing is concerned, Floyd is a legend. Um, you know, you have to admit it. He's a legend. Um, he beat the best out. Um, I don't feel he ducked anybody, though critics would say otherwise. Um, I think he's the best boxer of our generation. You know, I'm, you know, me being in my 20s, the best I've seen is Floyd in the ring. Um, the way he's able to set up his shots, the way he counters effectively, and just more importantly, his defensive skills is just um, par to none. Like, I haven't seen anyone uh, slip punches and just have people just missing and looking confused. Um, as much as I've seen with Floyd Mayweather. Now, the problem is he should not beat anybody in a fucking MMA match. I'm sorry. Uh, Floyd has the boxing aspect that probably keeps somebody at bay for a second. I mean, but then what happens when they try to, you know, begin to grapple Floyd and get Floyd on the ground? Floyd should not be beating anybody in an MMA match. And if he does, I mean, I, I call bullshit. I know the majority of the fans to, that want to see Floyd lose is going to bet against Floyd. Um, so the favor is going to be for the MMA fighter, which means whoever bets against um, Floyd, the odds are going to be like heavily in their favor. And that's why I think for some odd reason that Floyd will win that MMA match. It will be the biggest hustle ever. And, and, and I'm willing to bet my house, my car, or whatever on Floyd winning that MMA match. Because I know how the game, I know how the game is. I, I, I know the hustle. And, and I can spot it from a mile away, man. I, I don't really care to see Floyd in the ring. But I'm telling you guys, don't get scammed as fans <laughs> and get your money taken. Because um, Floyd got the powers to be behind him, man. He really does. It's OTF TV, man. Gang, gang, gang.